Hello everyone, today I'm going to walk you through on how to submit arrival forms before you travel to Canada. Please note these documents must be submitted at least 5 to 10 days before you depart from your home country. And these are arrival information and emergency contact, which are all located in arrival forms icon in your ISENT app. Once you have completed these forms, so College will send you an important email with details outlining your next steps once you arrive in Canada. But before that, we need to know what is ISENT all about. ISENT, also known as International Center or Information Center, it is a multilingual hub for information delivery, communication management, user engagement, and support services. In the palm of the user hands, the ISENT apps is a packet guide and one-stop shop. The key benefit of this app are the campus services. On the screen at Sault Ste. Marie campus, there are lots of icons that are all pretty helpful for all the international students like me. You can meet the peer ambassador leaders. These are all international leaders that could help you before and after you arrive here in Sault Ste. Marie. And then, you will learn about immigration updates, post-arrival checklist, health and wellness, transportation and parking, accommodation, events, student support, campus services, safety and security, COVID-19 vaccines, and supermarket. This app also features a 24-7 ISEN chat desk by clicking the three bars at the lower right of the screen. You will see the chat icon just after the notification. This allows students to ask questions at any point of their journey and someone will be available to answer their questions at any time of the day. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to it. When you open your ISENT app and you'll see this home screen, this is a great resource for you to take a look before and after you arrive to Canada. And also, you can submit the two forms from here. Once you click on Arrival Forms, you will see a list of documents that must be submitted before your arrival to Canada. Today, I'm going to walk you through on documents that you have to be submitted before you travel. First, click the Arrival Forms icon and then click the Sault Ste. Marie Taxi on Arrival. In this form, please submit the correct details of your arrival information to Sault Ste. Marie with the following. First, please provide us with a phone number where we can contact you. Two apps can be accessed on Wi-Fi in airports and most buses, and these are WhatsApp and WeChat. We highly recommend that you install them on your phone. Next, the date of arrival to Sault Ste. Marie. We required at least three working days notice to plan and confirm a ride for you. Next, the time of arrival. This is crucial most of the time especially during the winter season if you are going to take a plane. For example, due to unwanted delays due to weather condition. Next, the route of transportation. Will you arrive by plane or bus? However, we strongly recommend you arrive by airplane as it is a shorter trip with less close contact exposure to others. Next, please enter the correct flight number beginning with AC for Air Canada or PD for Porter. Next, provide your correct drop-off address in Sault Ste. Marie. This is the address where we will take you after meeting at the airport or bus station. Next, the number of people will arrive with you. And if you are arriving with a child, 
please specify their age in the comment box section below. Next, number of bags or suitcases total will be with your group. This is to identify if you will need a bigger taxi or van. And lastly, comment box. In this section, we encourage you to detail if there are any other important information you want to add. And after putting all the information, hit submit. Next, click the emergency contact form. In this form, please make sure to provide as much information as possible. And also, there should be someone we can contact in an event of emergency, whether this is a family member or a friend in Canada that is much preferable. If you don't have someone in Canada, please leave a number and the name from your home country. Once you fill out, hit submit and you will receive an email to confirm your submission of the emergency contact form. So that's it! Please remember to submit these forms at least 5 to 10 days before you travel to Canada so that we can register and give you proper assistance before and after you arrive. Have a safe trip and we look forward to seeing you soon.